My buddy Gaston Liang is going to demonstrate how to flame anodize the titanium marksmith body. He has a lot of experience with flame anodizing titanium, but this is his first try with the marksmith. Before flaming, the part was thoroughly cleaned with acetone and then handled with clean gloves. There are a few things to consider that will affect the final appearance. The wall thickness is non-uniform, so different areas will heat up at different rates. The marksmith is held in place at the tip by a screw, which will act as a heat sink and make it difficult to heat that area, and if you heat too much, it will create white areas. Ideally, it should be held with an insulator. The colors go from yellow, bronze, purple, blue, green, white, which is titanium dioxide and not desirable. The secret is to heat the part uniformly by focusing heat on the thicker parts to maintain the heat throughout the whole part. We're using a MAP gas torch, which is a much hotter flame than propane. Start by moving the flame along the whole length, spending more time at the thicker areas or where heat will be conducted away, like at the tip. It's already starting to turn bronze around the slot opening because that area is thin and has less material. So now we're going to move the heat to the areas with more material. The middle is changing to bronze, so now continue moving the heat towards the tip where there's a heat sink effect from the attachment screw. Once it all mostly matches, move to the back where it hasn't changed yet. Okay, now the whole body is mostly matched in color and fairly uniformly heated. So we can start moving along the whole length and observing the colors changing. Here you can see after the bronze comes purple and then fairly rapidly transitions to blue. You can kind of drag the colors along too. Gaston makes it look super easy, but he says that it took a lot of practice to get the hang of it. And with more practice on these marksmith bodies, he could get an even better appearance than this. Don't touch the parts until they have cooled down, because they are hella hot right now. I hope that you enjoyed Gaston's quick and dirty titanium flame anodizing tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos about developing EDC products like the Marksmith Titanium Permanent Marker you see here. See you in the next one.